straight in. Welcome on Massive, welcome back to my page, my channel. My name is Silexer, AKA The Eclecticist, AKA Man's Got Guns and Man Will Spray. Bullet in your eye. Fire. Top Selector, Silas, Silector. Epileptic Vector, Inspector. Make your ting stand up, call me the Erector. Anyhow, yes, my name is Eclecticist, AKA Silex, AKA Silas, uh, welcome. As always, today I am bringing to you a couple of unboxings. It's got to the point now where I let the records build up. Well, this one's not an unboxing. This is just something I purchased recently. Dennis Bavel, Dubmaster, the Essential Anthology. There's a wicked little dubbed up version of Janet K's Silly Games in that album that I really want to get my hands on. So um, shout out Dennis Bavel each and every time. Let me take this opportunity to again promote that I have a weekly radio show on Rinse FM, Thursday mornings, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Every Thursday morning, uh, loads of wonderful guests, as I'm sure one of these records will unveil to you. Just realised I was holding it the wrong way, so you might have seen my address. Anyhow, I have a few records here. That one says Fragile. This one says Fragile. This one says Fragile as well. This one's from Daventry. Shall we go straight in and open this one first? Uh, let's have a look-see-loo. Oh, yes, I remember this one. Okay, so great story about this record. And apologies, I've got lights in my room, so there might be quite a bit of glare on the camera. I'm not sure if you can see that without the lights. DJ Rashad, Double Cup, the 10 year anniversary reissue. Unquestionably the strongest footwork related LP since the genre was ever introduced to a wider audience. And it was Pitchfork's best new album. I guess that was 2013. So funny story, in 2013, I was living in Bristol. I was a student and I bought tickets to a festival that still takes place every year in Bristol called Love Saves the Day. In this particular year, 2013, DJ Rashad was due to be a sort of headliner on one of the stages at the festival and I had, was infatuated with this album, was really excited to see the show. In fact, was this album going to come out by then? I don't know. Either way, he passed away that same summer and I never got to see him live, but his music lives on. I feel like this is the, the footwork bible of a record, if you will. Uh, shout out people like Sherelle, pushing the sound forward. Code 9, of course. If I'm correct, I think this originally came out on Hyperdub Records, but the repress is on Partisan Records. And look at the design, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Picture of DJ Rashad there, there. So much art to this. Amazing. Gold vinyl. There's a wicked remix on here of Floetry Say Yes. I'm about to let you know you make me so, 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 so. Yeah, I'm really glad I got my hands on that. Partisan Records, Double Cup, the 10 year anniversary reissue pressed on gold vinyl. Can't wait to get that one on deck. Okay, next one, Chesham. That gives me an indication as to what this is. In fact, let me just un pull out this receipt. Doesn't say anything. It says British Airways in the back. Was this air? No, because I wouldn't return it to Cheshire. Plastic on the cardboard. Big record. Partial records. Dub seal part one and two. Sound iration. And my reason for purchasing this is because on the 18th of January, I put out a very special radio show featuring an interview with an absolute legend and one half of this duo sound iration, Nick Manassa. Definitely go and check out that show if you haven't already. If you're into dub reggae and want to hear the perspective of a, a pioneer of the sound in the UK, uh, broadcast legend, broadcast on KISS FM from 1987 to like 19, 97 or 1998 or something like that but yeah basically a complete legend um, Nick Manassa uh, and Sound Iration this was like his his first sort of anthemic track as a producer played by people like Jash Shaka played across all the sound systems in the sort of UK sound system and dub community and yeah I just had to get my hand on this record because of that this one is definitely getting played at Jumbie on the 18th of Feb and at home, of course. Sound iration, seventh seal. And you've got dub seal part one and two on the back, which is the dubbed out version, obviously. Okay, this one's fragile. This might be a second hand vinyl. Don't know what the hell that is. There's a lot of cardboard in this. This is a very good attempt, desperate attempts to keep everything straight on the inside, which they have done a good job of. 
uh, the dancehall mix of Babylon by Johnny Clark. This one's actually recorded in mono, but really important purchase for me because one of my favorite films of all time is a film called Babylon with a soundtrack that was put together by actually partly this man, Dennis Bavel and Aswad. And there's a scene in the film where Jash Shaka playing in a dance hall, a sound system vibes. And this is the song he's playing, which before now had never been released. Uh, as a single and it finally has on Cha 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 Records and yeah shout out Dub Vendor for this one I didn't actually get it from Dub Vendor it sold out on Dub Vendor pretty quickly but it was because of Dub Vendor that I found out that the record was getting pressed up so shout out Dub Vendor and shout out I can't remember where I bought it from but the, the seller on Discogs who had a, a new copy Wicked and Fresh couple dubs double dubs and of course DJ Rashad and that is my Unboxing for today. Thank you for watching each and every time. Um, I've tried 4K this time. A few things to shout out, of course, um, every Thursday morning, 9 to 11 a.m., Rinse FM, make sure you listen. And 18th of February, it's a Sunday, Jumbi, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., me and my father are gonna be playing some of these records and some of the classic dub and reggae from his collection also. So yeah, get yourself down there, come and say hi, have a drink, and enjoy some tunes. Thank you for watching, catch you next time.